Several new chatbots may be popping up every week, but ChatGPT seems unbeatable. With the six new features OpenAI recently introduced to enhance ChatGPT, the chatbot is on a completely different level. You can now upload files to ChatGPT, get suggested prompts. Plus, the company has finally fixed the UI issues. The biggest part? The ChatGPT app is now available on Android. You know what? Let's run through these major upgrades rapidly and how to use them. Ensure you stick to the end and don't miss any part because conversations on the chatbot just got more productive and accurate with the new prompt suggestions feature. You no longer need to worry about inputting the wrong prompts or spend long hours brainstorming on how to come up with the right prompt to have the right answers. With the prompt suggestions at your disposal, starting a conversation with the chatbot has never been easier. Now, each time you are about to start a chat, you'll no longer see a blank screen but prompt examples to guide you in initiating the right questions, ensuring a more accurate response from the AI as well. Mind you, these prompts are not your typical generic questions. Instead, it varies with each user. They are carefully crafted based on your previous exchanges with the chatbot or popular topics of interest. You'll also get suggested replies. ChatGPT now has a new element called suggested replies to make responses more relevant and coherent. These suggestions aim to enrich the conversation by providing appropriate options for follow-up discussions. With just one click, you can now delve deeper into a topic or request a more thorough explanation. This isn't just a mere feature, but a complete transformation of the chatbot's responses from mere superficial answers to more in-depth output. So, henceforth, when engaging the chatbot, just imagine you're talking to a human. Definitely, your responses should flow naturally in response to the answers provided by ChatGPT. Even when the chatbot misinterprets your prompts, which is common for humans to misinterpret a statement, you no longer need to re-explain yourself in endless prompts to the chatbot. With the new suggested replies, simply click on any of the options, and that settles it. It rephrases the question for a more relevant answer. You can likewise change the tone of the conversation. I must say, the new updated AI model is now more dynamic and versatile. Next is GPT-4 is now the default AI model in ChatGPT. As you may have observed, when using the chatbot, you are to select between two versions, GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. Though GPT-4 is only accessible to ChatGPT plus subscribers, with the recent update to ChatGPT, the bot can now retain your preference for GPT-4. You will no longer be required to manually opt for GPT-4 each time you interact with the AI. Also, the message allowance for Plus users has been increased from 25 to 50 messages every three hours. Talking about GPT-4 ability to remember your preference, that sounds like an incredibly exciting upgrade but one that's also rather scary. Personality, and remember your preferences for future interaction. The feature will only be available to GPT-4 paid users. Besides, the version is also connected to the live internet. Undoubtedly, we are moving towards a future where every smart device will possess AI capabilities. Not just some general features, but personalized ones. Imagine an upgraded version of Siri that seamlessly operates on all Apple devices, yet possesses a comprehensive understanding of your personal preferences and can tailor responses that align with your specific needs. We'll get there soon. Who knows, ChatGPT might know who you are better than any algorithm. That's because ChatGPT has been quite the social butterfly, never prioritizing privacy. OpenAI is all about soaking up as much data as possible to train its algorithms, yet we are made to pay for it. As a ChatGPT Plus user, it seems that they have turned the exploitation of our private information into a subscription service for $20 per month. It's quite paradoxical, don't you think? Or am I the only one who sees it this way? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. I'm not trying to be paranoid here, but OpenAI has made it clear that they can use data from customized instructions to enhance ChatGPT. However, Users should have the option to disable this feature through data controls. Anyways, let's move to the next feature, the Code Interpreter's new capability. The Code Interpreter has gained a new capability. It can now support multiple files. This means that beta users of the Code Interpreter now have the option to upload up to 10 files at once. With this new feature, marketers and data analysts can now, via ChatGPT, analyze different data sets, 
creating exciting opportunities for in-depth marketing analysis and data extraction. The fifth upgrade is the enhanced login experience which makes logging in more convenient. With this upgrade, you can remain logged in to ChatGPT for weeks. This new feature is expected to ease our interactions with the chatbot, especially for frequent users, as they will no longer have to log in every two weeks. Moreover, it is strongly recommended to use a strong and unique password while using ChatGPT. You can even remain logged in for up to 30 days unless you choose to log out or clear your browser data. The updated login feature truly illustrates ChatGPT's commitment to user-friendly design and satisfaction. Lastly, OpenAI introduces keyboard shortcuts. With this, you can quickly perform common actions using only your keyboard. These shortcuts significantly boost productivity when using ChatGPT. It allows you to speed up your work with simple commands, be it copying code blocks or accessing other time-saving actions. Having the possibility to manipulate your tasks with shortcuts is paramount to everyone. To quickly access them, try using Command plus slash shortcut on Mac or Control plus on Windows to get a complete list. Looking forward to hearing all about your experiences with these new features. And do you think it's worth opting for the paid version to access them? Or are these just run-of-the-mill features that any other chatbot or basic plugin can handle? I must say, ChatGPT has seriously stepped up its game with these impressive changes. And if GPT-4 is already this versatile, just imagine how mind-blowing GPT-5 the next version will be. Get ready for a game changer! Please like and subscribe for more interesting AI content.